This is Byron Gordon for the SES Conference Channel. It is day two at SES Toronto, and we have just finished hearing from Miley of Google, our keynote speaker for this morning. Miley, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And uh, Miley, we'll keep it short, but uh, you brought up, or rather Mike Green, who was talking to you, brought up the significance of uh, May Day and caffeine. So I thought with our viewers a little bit, tell us about the significance of May Day and, and uh, what was the significance behind that? Okay, sure. Our May Day, what's considered the May Day update, um, was for us an algorithm ranking change. Previously, um, we definitely penalized sites that were spam, that violated our webmaster guidelines. Uh, but it also left room for some low quality, little value ad sites. And so we kind of took this idea of bringing quality even further to users by not just penalizing some spam sites, but actually looking at how can we show in rankings and devalue sites that aren't actually providing value. So these are sites that might use auto-generated content or might just use keywords in their topics but really not say anything that's intelligible or useful. So it all comes back to serving users that compelling and unique content. And in many cases, it has affected sites that actually put out low-quality content. So that's been a lot of the, the grumpiness has been about that. And uh, caffeine, what the significance of caffeine? Terrific. Caffeine is a major infrastructure change for us. It's awesome because it helps with crawling and indexing your sites faster. So previously, uh, we would do things in batch. And the analogy I would use is that it was like doing your laundry, where you do one entire load at a time. But now, with caffeine, uh, across all of our indexes, um, rolled out to every data center in different languages, we can actually take a document at a time. It'd be like washing one shirt, then one pair of pants, and just pushing that through, not waiting for an entire load to be ready. So it improves, I think, our index freshness by at least 50%. Um, it allows us to scale to the enormity of the web, so future um, scalability. And another great thing about it is that it actually helps us to attach more information per document. So this would be metadata information, like the anchor text coming in, or if they're using certain types of markup. And so it gives us even more flexibility with different ranking changes we want to make, or just indexing updates. Okay, and also, and finally, um, it was brought up about uh, webmasters designing documents, meta description, snippet. What is the snippet, and talk about the significance of that. Okay, when a user clicks on a search result, right, what they're looking at often is they scan the title of the page. The snippet is the information that we give them where their query is in context. Okay. And then last part is the URL. And it's actually shown that users do even look at the URL mm -hmm. itself. So even if we see a query term in, um, that the user entered and we see it in the URL, we highlight it there too. So you can have highlights in your title, your snippet, and in your URL. And so a great thing to do if you want to increase click-through is to have these look as appealing as possible to users. So titles that have the words that they like to see, um, a URL that has the words they like to see, and of course the snippet. And one way to influence the snippet is by adding information in your meta description. So this is in your HTML code itself that you can actually put the subject line of your page. And that can be shown to users and really increase, increase click-through. All right. Miley, thanks so much for taking time to chat with us. Oh, thank you. And there's more to come from SES Toronto 2010, day two. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.